welcome back again to Professional English 1, this time with the fixes, prefixes and suffixes. Okay, a fixation is a very important part of any language and it um, enlarges the knowledge of the language. You can uh, broaden all your vocabulary only by using the adequate affixes. Affixes are have two forms, prefixes and suffixes. Okay? We are going to define, we are going to see the forms, structures and practicing. Examples. Glenn was unhappy with his situation, so he left. The original word is happy. The affixed word is unhappy. The related word is unhappy. What is a prefix? A prefix is a particle that go at the beginning of a word. Most of the time it changes or emphasizes or gives more information about its meaning. For example, uh, happy, unhappy. Happy is affirmative and happy is negative. Okay? We add a prefix to the beginning and a suffix to the end of a word. As I s uh, we have said, prefixes go at the beginning and suffixes go at the end of the word, of course. Some examples are unhappy, as we have already seen. Beautiful. Beauty is the original word. Beautiful is the affixed word, the, the suffixed word. In the first tense, unhappy has a prefix. In the second example, we have a suffix after beauty. We have changed the Y by an I and we have beautiful. We have some negative prefixes, we have some positive, etc. Um, and and these that uh, are prefixes that show uh, the opposite or a negative condition. And is not, and this also means not. Examples are the building was unsafe. What is the meaning? Safe is related to security, and safe is related to non-security, okay? So the building was unsafe indicates that a condition is not following the, uh, the rules f of safety. Unsafe, safe, unsafe, a prefix, a negative prefix. This, agree, okay? To agree is to uh, accept to follow somebody else's ideas or, or whatever, or proposals, but disagree is the opposite. In this case, we have two suffixes, uh, uh, two particles added to this word. Agree is the verb. This is the prefix, prefix the negative, and agreed, id, id, is the uh, suffix that changes the meaning of the verb to the past tense. Disagreed is a past tense form of the verb agree, uh, affixed, okay? So we have in this word, the, the, the main word, the root, agree, was added a prefix, this, and a suffix, ed, disagreed. But anyway, let's continue. Would you please find the prefixes in this sentence? Probably you will find some new or, uh, I don't know, perhaps you have already uh, studied all of this. An unsafe building is not good for its residents. It is unfair for them to have to live there. It should be rebuilt and the safety measures should also be reviewed. Okay. Let's see which are the prefixes. 
An unsafe building is not good for its resident. Unsafe. It is unfair for them to have to live there. It should be rebuilt and the safety measures should also be reviewed. Okay. Un and re. Okay. Those are the prefixes we have. In, in this uh, example, in this text example, we also have suffixes. Please try to find them and tell your teacher or ask your teacher if you have any doubt in the presential class. Okay, re means that something is going to be done again or was done again or has been done again, etc. Something to be done again. Okay? We need to reorganize the party as more people are coming than I thought. Okay. The party was organized with a number of people, but there is a need to reorganize it because the, the number of, of people increased. That is the information that is given by this sentence. Okay. Add the prefix, please. Add a corresponding prefix, an or this, to the following adjectives. Happy, angry, organized, fair, agree, friendly, prepared, like, fit, healthy. Okay? Not all these adjectives will have a corresponding form with an or with this. Let's see. Happy, unhappy. Angry has no corresponding affixed word with an or this. Organized, unorganized, and disorganized. Unorganized means that it has not been organized. Disorganized means that if it has an organization, the organization is not correct. Fair and fair, agree, disagree, friendly and friendly, prepare and prepare, like, unlike and dislike. Unlike means different, dislike means not to like. Fit doesn't have a this form, is just unfit, unhealthy, healthy, sorry, unhealthy. Okay. Thank you very much, and we are going to uh, abound more with this topic next class. Thank you.